Hey, what's up guys? All right, so this is my Craftsman half horsepower chain drive garage door opener. Uh, it's a piece of crap. It works with the exception of the actual transmitter unit or any aftermarket transmitter that you purchase. Uh, you might be able to get it to pair with this device and get it to work a few times, but the receiver does not work well in this unit. So this is my solution. Okay, so right here on the wall, this right here is my wall switch button, which activates the garage door opener. Um, <clears throat> and this is basically what I put together today real quick uh, we got a little relay right here a little terminal block <clears throat> and this is basically the heart of the uh, whole uh, system here that we're looking at uh, made by a company called West Tech it's called wireless remote and plug-in receiver now this device I purchased from Walmart today uh, for the price of $14.97 <clears throat> comes with this little key fob right here has an on off button it's pretty small fits right in your hand operates at 433 megahertz um, they claim that the range on it is um, let's see here 80 feet effective distance. They say that you can control your lights uh, from the inside of your house. Um, they say you can control your outdoor lights from the inside of your house, and they say that um, it'll even operate like through. I mean, they're saying this is the package right here. They're saying um, control outdoor light devices from the inside or outside of your home without any wiring. Uh, thousand watt max so they're saying that this thing will basically work through walls etc um, so what I did was uh, you can as you can see here there's a little plug right here that I spliced into and I wired into this terminal block and then I just came right off of that terminal block with a couple of spades and uh, I went into this 120 volt relay and um, there's the info on the relay it's just a little, a little 10 amp uh, 120 volt AC relay uh, I picked that thing up from Fry's for like I think, uh, 13 bucks you could probably get these things cheaper if you order them online, but I just wanted to go pick this thing up at the store. I was, you know, kind of lazy like that. Uh, so the way this thing works, uh, you plug in your source right here. Oh, I also mounted everything here up on this little DIN rail just to keep it kind of clean. Um, so that's your coil. So your 120 volts AC right here. You're controlling your output of this device with this switch. So when you hit on, it activates this uh, switch in here, sends 120 volts to the coil. And um, the way I have it wired is I have these two wires running all the way up in here into inside this uh, uh, push button here. There's two terminals inside here. And I found that when you jump both of the terminals together and you essentially are you're, you're shorting them out together, it activates your garage door. So real simple. All I did was uh, go one wire into one terminal, the other wire into the other terminal, tightened it up. So what happens is this uh, relay, the way this is wired up on the relay, I have these two wires on a normally open contact 
So when I say normally open, that means in a de-energized state, which it is in now, this contact is open. When I activate the unit with this button, contacts close, sends the signal here and up to the uh, garage door opener. So I'll demonstrate right now. Uh, <clears throat> garage door is closed. And you can watch and see what happens right here when I push this button. There it goes. All right, so garage door is open. Now, here's the key fob again. Now, notice it's energized right now the coil is energized with 120 volts so I have to push the off button and that deactivates the relay circuit and now when I push on button again here it's gonna close the garage door Alright, so right now I'm about 60 feet away from my garage door. I'm out in the alleyway and I'm going to activate it from, basically it's going to be sending the signal through the garage door and actually I'm going to stand here so I'm behind my truck too. So let's see how this works. There it goes. Beautiful. So I have my truck in between me and the receiver is still, the signal still went around the truck, so that's good. This, uh, right here, is one of these little universal devices that you buy at Home Depot. As you can see, um, it looks like it's been through a war. Basically, they're useless. So, you know, it worked for a while, then it stopped working. So I threw it on the ground <clears throat> as hard as I could. And then I wasted my money on this piece of junk right here from the internet. Something like 14 or 15 bucks for this piece of junk. Doesn't work. So... <clears throat> I think this will be pretty good. Uh, I'm going to keep testing this unit right here. And, and what I did was the way I designed this was so uh, in the future, if I ever have any issues with this little receiver here and this transmitter, uh, I can just unplug it, throw it away, and uh, you know put in a different solution here to activate this relay, such as like a smartphone activated outlet outlet or something like that uh, those are expensive though they're like uh, 50 bucks so um, <clears throat> there's always room to improve this little setup here but this works for now um, I didn't want to spend the 50 bucks on that smartphone that Wi-Fi outlet but if, if I wanted to I could unplug this device here and put one of those Wi-Fi outlets on here and I'd be able to open and close the door with my smartphone but uh I just kind of wanted to get this thing on a little key fob and get it over with. Uh, I'm sure there's a million other ways that this could be done, like, a lot better, but uh, basically for under $50, I got my garage door working again. <clears throat> I didn't have to buy another um, garage door opener here, which would have been five, 600 bucks, plus the labor and all that other nonsense, so... I'll put uh, a link in the description of my video, all those little parts that I use. I think this video will probably help help someone out here in the future because there's there's a lot of people out there that, that have garage door openers and um, I mean, you're going to have issues with it. It's, it's going to happen and when you have an issue with it, uh, you want to fix it. Hope you enjoyed this clip and hope it helps somebody out there who talk to you guys soon bye